have an idea for a mobile app, but aren't quite sure how to go about developing it. Today I'm speaking with Rob Carpenter and Jeff Mako, co-founders of App Adventures. So Rob and Jeff, thanks so much for speaking with me today. Absolutely, thanks for having us. First off, can you describe what your company is all about? Yeah, so we are mobile application developers. So basically we build customized software for smartphones and tablet computers. So it's an idea that someone brings to you and you build, it, build an app out of it, is that right? Yeah, so we bring a lot of product business background and then we also have an incredible chief technology officer with over 18 years of software development experience. And so our prime clients are people that have an idea, but they don't know how to execute on it or they don't have the time to do it. And so we sit down with them and we walk through the entire process of not only figuring out what the perfect idea is, but the best way to market it, to find out who the target customers are, and to get it launched and to help them make that a successful app in the App Store. Do you focus on a variety of different types of apps or is there a specific focus? Yeah, so right now we're, we're staying very industry agnostic. We're really letting the market tell us what they want and how they want it. Um, and what another thing that makes us unique, we actually leverage offshore development teams if the client wants it. So we can even increase or decrease their costs, uh, out-of-pocket costs up front even further. So it's a really great model for our clients. What sets App Adventures apart from other app developers? Well, one of the biggest things is that we specialize in post-launch marketing strategy. So the app economy is really new as a whole, and so far most developers, they, they build a great app and they kind of put it out there to the world, but that's the end of the story. So we really are trying to bring a lot of the business and web background experience that we have of how do we actually get this app beyond the app store and getting other people looking at it, getting traffic coming, and increasing sales, and really building a business, not just a software program, for our clients. You're able to charge your customers about one-tenth of what other app developers are charging. How are you able to maintain such low development rates? Uh, I understand. Great question. So there's actually two components to that. One is with our offshore development teams, of which we have in Romania, Armenia, and India right now. Uh, so that's one function of it. The second function, if the customer wants we can actually reduce their upfront costs even further if they're willing to do a revenue share partnership with us where their cost might even be cut in half uh, and then from there on we share in the revenue of the app so it really aligns our economics and our incentives to make sure that if our clients don't succeed we don't succeed and all of our clients really love that model. So you competed at the Bard Center for Entrepreneurship Business Plan competition and you did win first place there, right? Yep. What did you gain from this experience? Uh, first off, it was just an incredible opportunity to, to be involved in because it really helped us refine not only our business plan but also our business model. And it kind of we had to put it out there to the community and you know get some very direct and honest feedback on that. And it it helped us to hone what it was that we were developing. And the competition was actually a three part process. The First thing we did is we just submitted and there were well over 50 plans that were submitted and from there it was uh, whittled down to a group that came and presented to investors or it was called an investor pitch night and basically people had monopoly money to invest. They were in a room and as the investors we had to go and give an elevator pitch so we just had to walk up and tell them about our business in a really succinct way in one minute or less. And that was an incredible opportunity. And then the third phase was the actual business plan presentation. And so the judges were a panel of venture capitalists and equity investors. We got up along with six other competitors, pitched our business, got feedback from the judges, and then there was a um, public ceremony at the end of it. What is the market like for your service? It's exploding. I think I read something recently that Android devices, which are used to view apps, Android devices, they're activating a million a day, which if you do the math is about 12 devices per second. It's kind of wild to think about. Yeah. Beyond yeah. that, there are over, I think, 1.3 million apps now in both iTunes and then the Android markets. Uh, it's a global, global marketplace, too. We just released a client app about two weeks ago 
and we had downloads in Saudi Arabia, Iran, Italy, Australia, New Zealand. It was wild, and it happened overnight. So it's really turning this global economy into something that's very flat and gives what I'll say small business owners and entrepreneurs, idea guys, it gives them ability to, at a very low rate, a low cost, to get their idea to the world and generate some revenue from it. What are some of the challenges you faced while building your company? What do we do with all this money? <laughs> um, no, I think the, the, the biggest challenge that we've had is there's a bunch of shiny objects out in the marketplace. And as business owners, we have to really decide what, what's our model, where do we find the greatest opportunity, and how are we going to build this business for the long term? I have a niece that's about two years old, and she loves playing with apps already. And I would love to say 20 years from now, App Adventures is out there making apps for my niece when she's 22 years old, right? So really growing a app economy from both individuals coming on board, but also the competitive aspect of it as well, where we know a very high-end shop here in Denver, Colorado, they're backlogged two years already. Another one up in Boulder, they're backlogged six months already, and they're working on really, really big projects. Where we focus, it's on projects that aren't necessarily huge in scope. So they're not the $50,000, but $20,000 or less. And the innovators are already in the market, the early adopters are coming on board, and now it's the early majority. You know, weekend entrepreneurs, I got idea guys, and even people like yourself, you're like, hey, I got this idea, I just don't know who to talk to to make it happen. And they can come to App Adventures and with our revenue share model, get a really great trusted advisor to help their app succeed. So lastly, what can people expect from App Adventures in the future? Well, we're working on a very aggressive launch strategy of products. So we're launching the small business suite as we discussed. We're getting a lot of really positive publicity and support from the community from people that are really finding a lot of value in that. We're also in the process of ramping up all of our client apps. So over the next few months, we should be launching uh, one to three new apps every month. And by next year, we could be doing anywhere from five to ten new apps a month. So just a lot of very innovative, exciting, and great programs um, that are available to a really wide market of people. Well, um, Jeff and uh, Rob, thanks so much for speaking with me today. Absolutely. Thank you for your time. For more information on App Adventures, visit cadella.com.